हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू एस्पायरिंग स्टूडेंट यूट्यूब चैनल फ्रेंड्स वंस अगेन ए वेरी गुड न्यूज़ फ्रॉम ई एस आई सी दैट ई एस आई सी हैज़ रिलीज ई एस आई सी एस एस ओ ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू नोटिफिकेशन ऑफिशियल इन द वेबसाइट ऑफ ई एस आई सी माई डियर फ्रेंड्स ओके सो राइट नाउ राइट नाउ यू आर सींग द ऑफिशियल पी डी एफ डाउनलोड फ्रॉम द ऑफिशियल वेबसाइट ऑफ ई एस आई सी रिगार्डिंग द रिक्रूटमेंट ऑफ सोशल सिक्योरिटी ऑफिसर्स मैनेजमेंट मैनेजर ग्रेड टू आर सोपनडेंट इन ई एस आई सी कॉर्पोरेशन ओके गाइज I think that already uh, three four months back and just one month back also I have clearly informed you regarding the recruitment of ESIC SS4 regarding the RTA from the re RTA replace. Okay, finally the news becomes true. Now let me tell you the detailed notification of ESIC SS4, my dear friends. Recruitment of social security officers, manager grade two, are superintendent superintendent in ESIC corporation. Online applications are invited for filling up post of social security officers. on regular basis by the direct recruitment in esic now let's see the vacancies in esic my dear friends in the sso social security officer details of the vacancies category wise for unreserved category the total vacancies are 43 for scheduled cash it is 9 vacancies and for scheduled tribes 8 vacancies obc other backward class 24 vacancies economically weaker section 9 vacancies and the total vacancies of esic ss for 2022 is 93 vacancies my dear friends 93 talking about pwd candidates person with benchmark disability coming under category a no vacancies are available coming under category b one vacancy is available coming under category c two vacancies are available and in the category d and e one vacancy is available my dear friends and for ex office man we have nine vacancies so these are the vacancies regarding esic ss for 2022 for all the categories now talking of the pay scale scale of pay is pay level 7 of matrix my dear friends okay as per the 7th central pay commission now the most important thing is education qualification education qualification so any student okay any student who pursue the degree is eligible for the esic ss for okay a degree in a recognized university is eligible but the preference will be given for graduation in commerce law and management okay preference will be given for commerce law and management and working knowledge of computer including the use of office suits and database is very important okay my dear friends last but not the least experience desirable not mandatory okay Three years service in government organization or corporation or government undertaking or local body or scheduled bank. So, for example, for example, my dear friends, after writing your phase three of ESIC SS4, if two candidates getting the same mark, they will first check whether these candidate has these candidates have any experience in these above mentioned organizations. If both the candidates have, then they will go to the education qualification regarding the. whether these candidates have pursued commerce law or management okay this type this type of preference will be given if both candidates are eligible for the post okay next one as always age relaxation is applicable for sc st and pw candidates and ex office men for sc st 5 years obc 3 years and for psc we all know that ex office men this is very common for every notification now how to apply so you have sorry just a second so you have to apply on the online application mode my dear friends candidate can apply online up to 12 04 okay so the last date to apply for esic ssso is 12 april 12 april 2022 and no other mode of application will be accepted now the important things are photograph signature hand handwritten declaration left hand thumb impression these things you all know very well and don't forget your let your sign should not be in the capital letters and here is the declaration form for esic sso which is the common form okay as we given for the ibps the same declaration form they have given next one application registration okay these things we all know very well next important thing is payment of fees so amount applicable applicable for sc st pwd 
and departmental candidates, female candidates and ex servicemen is two fifty rupees only. But for all other categories, five hundred. Okay, my dear friends, this is the examination fees, and you have to pay in online mode only. Next important thing is examination. Examination purely banking examination pattern, my dear friends. So first we have phase one that is preliminary exam, English reasoning and quantitative aptitude, English thirty questions, thirty marks, twenty minutes duration. Okay, this is sectional timing. Sectional time is applicable for ESIC SS4, but but if you observe the in the ESIC UDC there is no sectional timing, my dear friends. Okay. But here in the ESIC SSO we have the sectional timing. Next reasoning, thirty five questions, thirty five marks, twenty minutes. Quant, thirty five questions, thirty five marks, twenty minutes. Total hundred questions, hundred marks, sixty minutes is the time limit. Okay, one hour. So this is purely phase one is completely banking pattern. Next, the phase two also. Ah, uh, in the important thing is how many candidates will be shortlisted for phase two. See. Point number three. The candidates will be shortlisted for phase two in the ratio of one is to ten. Ten times the number of vacancies in each category on the basis of their performance in phase one. Okay, guys. So ten times. The ratio will be only ten times. Next one. Phase two, mains examination. Mains examination. This is also completely a. purely bank based pattern my dear friends first we have <coughs> sorry reasoning or intelligence 40 questions 60 marks 35 minutes is the duration next general economy or financial insurance awareness 40 questions 40 marks 20 minutes is the time limit next english session 30 questions 40 marks 30 minutes is the time limit next we have quantitative aptitude 40 questions 60 marks 35 minutes is the time limit so totally we have 150 questions for 200 marks and the time limit is 2 hours which is the sectional timing again okay my dear friends now the selection ratio for phase 3 in this in this the selection ratio for phase 3 is 1 is to 5 the candidates will be shortlisted for phase 2 phase sorry phase 3 is in the ratio of 1 is to 5 Okay, about five times the number of vacancies in each category on the basis of their performance in phase two. So for phase phase one, so for phase two, one is to ten. For phase three, one is to five. Next, talking about the phase three, which is very important, just a qualifying nature exam. Marks obtained in the phase two is declared as your selection. Now talking about phase three, computer skill test and as well as descriptive test also. But in ESIC UDC you have only computer skill test, but talk in the ESIC SSO you have descriptive addition to computer skill test. Okay, now the computer skill test you have preparation of two PowerPoint slides, ten marks, typing matter on MS Word with formatting, twenty marks, preparation of tables on MS Excel with the with the use of formulae, twenty marks. So total fifty marks, thirty minutes is the duration, same as the ESIC UDC. But descriptive paper, two questions, fifty marks, thirty minutes duration English, and here you have to write one essay and one letter writing, which is very common in every descriptive pattern exam. So in note, you just see the second point, my dear friends, which is very important. Computer skill test and descriptive test will be qualifying in nature. Marks obtained will not be recognized for recorded for merit ranking. Okay. Marks obtained will not be recognized for merit ranking. It means that candidates who secured the highest marks in phase two, that is in the mains exam, they will be considered for the merit list. And the first point is working knowledge of PWD candidates who are unable to type shall be assessed by holding an objective type computer test of 50 marks having 50 questions with no negative marks. This is only for PWD candidates who can't type. Okay, my dear friends. so i think these are all the important things that you have to notice before applying for esic ss4 2022 recruitment my dear friends rest all the things are very common as we seen in every notification hoping so that okay let me tell you this 
one second this is important closing and opening of date so the link for submission of online application will be available from 12-03-2022 to 12-04-2022 means from tomorrow onwards the link will be activated okay my dear friends i think it's today only 12th yes the link will be activated and the last date is 12th april 2022 the closing date for submission of online application this thing i have already discussed okay so this is all about esic ss 2022 recruitment if you have any doubts regarding this please ask me in, ask me in the comment section my dear friends so thanks for watching and don't forget to share this important update with all your friends and different social media platforms thanks for watching thank you so much